Why is my computer doing that? <laughs> Hi there, uh, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts and the Battleship League Division 2. Here we have the winner of Division 3, Nelson. Um, and uh, if you're watching these in order, she's fresh off a defeat in the first round, uh, first episode to Richelieu. Let us see. Uh, but it wasn't bad. Uh, she won in her first round. Now she's up against the Latorio. So I'm going to be very curious to see how she does. I don't think any particularly uh, fancy tactics required or anything. Just straightforward, juking it out. <laughs> hmm, sorry, I guess first hit, but it's not ending particularly serious, just a partial bent. Nelson gets a partial bend in return, and takes another one. Yeah, they're well protected against each other at this kind of range. Hmm, damage to a gun, though. That just uh, means, yeah, hit the top of uh, the M turret here, or Q turret, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it, she can still fire. Ricochet. Marshals. Sorry for zooming backwards and forwards. Really not going to be much too much happening until they get a little bit closer. Oh! Big hit on the funnel, though. I mean, it did loads of damage, but I, don't, I think that's primarily superficial. But, uh, yeah, Latorio taking a bit of damage to the funnels. Sorry, gaining my microphone's a bit high there. Turning away. I'm trying to open the range up again. There's a forward funnel. I took, took the big hit. Took out a secondary gun. Nelson so far got the better of it. Remember, of course, we are looking at steel only, not the meat inside it. So all all ships have the same crew training level. Okay. 
Yeah, he's turning away. Interesting. Oh, no, Nelson... Oh, I missed, totally missed it. Nelson took a huge hit. May belt in. May belt in. A thousand damage. Yikes. Yeah, that might do it in for Nelson, actually. She's... I don't know, she's still going. She was able to shrug off... Shrug it off a little bit. That's seriously going to degrade her fighting ability. Accuracy is down to 14%. Victoria's got the target off, but unfortunately. It's a hit back, though, on the aft deck. Yeah, even slower now. Damage to the secondary tower. Yeah, Latoria is turning now. I reckon she's uh, got what it needs. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't get cocky though. Can still take damage. Wasn't a uh, citadel hit though. Up, juking it out. How far away are they from each other? About 12 kilometers. Oh, that was a big hit. Uh, again, aft deck, so only into the extended bit. But Latorio has lost a lot of her structure. She's still go. I mean, she's still perfectly capable of fighting. Um, and Nelson lost a similar amount, but just much closer <laughs> than I was. Again, Nelson in round one of the fight with Richelieu did pretty well. Right, Victoria still hasn't taken any like engine damage or anything like that. But yeah, I'm impressed that Nelson's shrugged off that. Well, not shrugged it off, but still, still fighting. Shows good spirit. Uh, damage to the steering gear on the Torio. hits. Oh, that was nasty. Half belt over pen. Uh, damage to steering gear. Put a bit of flooding in the rear of the ship. section. Again, that's not critical, but the flooding is unbalancing Nelson. We're going to roll over. over too much as well. Might be able to get her guns firing again. Sometimes you can fire them. You can get them to fire if they go right, yeah, right forward like that. Presenting a smaller target as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ammunition starting to run low. <laughs> this could be close. Schools of flooding hit in return. Sorry, I've lost an engine. Turning away. Ooh, took out a secondary gun. This caused a bit of flooding as well. Both ships really struggling <laughs> to get their guns to uh, actually connect. No hits. Torio moving away again. Flooding hits there, I think. Come on. Blocked, overpen flooding. Uh, Latoria down to about forty percent float and structure. Nelson is thirty percent structure, but thirty-five percent float, so they're pretty even. Again, it just being insufficiently aggressive, Latorio, maybe. Another flooding hit. Like, at one point, I'm sure she had Nelson, but she, she turned away rather than coming in to finish her off. End as a draw though. Nelson down to yeah, 90 shells or so. Victoria has more. Both ships still able to fire, which is quite amazing the amount of punishment they've taken. Overpin and flooding again. 
just kind of caving in the after <laughs> the stern of the Littorio. Secondary tower 31 place 28 on the structure, 40 place 35 on the float. Although there's another flooding hit. Pen, fire, flooding. It's only round one. Jesus. Right, in terms of calling the fight, um, obviously Nelson's more or less out of AP shells. Uh, she does have HE, but uh, if it gets to the point where Latorio has also run out of AP shells and there's no winner, I will call it a draw. Latorio currently, though, can't fire. Hmm. Ah, she's fixed it. Takes two more overpens, though. Flooding, but of course it's on a flooded section, so it's not doing a lot. Right, Nelson, out of AP ammo. <laughs> now we're resorting to the shore bombardment ammunition instead. <laughs> oh my words! <laughs> and immediately <laughs> just shoots the funnel for a thousand damage. <laughs> Oh my word, they did so much more damage, that's insane. Uh, went through the aft belt, finished her off. Well, Nelson again winning in round one. Well now, let's see if we can repeat that in reverse. <laughs> So, to the north, let's go. damage right off the bat although <laughs> Nelson gives us almost as good as she gets let's get all the guns going Weird. It's a scene. 
over there as well. Huh. Yeah, apart from those early lucky hits, not very much. A secondary gun taken out by uh, 6 inch from the Torio. Now, proper, proper fighting range. Five inch guns getting involved. Nelson, though, still resisting. Both ships target locking by the sound of it. Yeah. Nelson looks like she's turning away. She's also fired a torpedo. Fun. Still no decisive hits though. I think that we've got a pretty good chance. Yeah, 50-50. Still resisting, though. There we go. There we go. That 500 damage. Main belt pin. That, yeah. <laughs> All the engine rooms. Lots of flooding. Nelson really going to be struggling now. Should probably sink at this point, but you know, we need to finish her off. why I'm going around this way uh, is because I do not want to uh, eat a torpedo. Yeah, Nelson can't fire at the moment anyway. Roll is too much. no good for goodness sake sort it out because you're going over 
on the turn then. Yeah. Flooding to finish her off, really. There we go. Well, victory in round two goes to the Latorio. That means tiebreaker time now then tiebreakers huh, who knows <laughs> who knows Could be uh, anyone's game really I don't like how the AI is like forwards, like advance, retreat, advance, retreat. Oh, advance! <laughs> it's so um, so flighty sometimes. Still though, I am very pleased that Nelson has been able to make a good account of herself so far. Um, you know, she's not going down easy. Which is really, really good to see because uh, in Division 3, Strasbourg, you know, really s struggled uh, to. I mean, she, she wasn't bad, but Nelson here definitely is uh, not out of the running. She's making the, uh, the newer ships really work for it. Absolutely no hits on either side so far. Just plinking off each other's armour. In fact, while well, Latoria does have a target lock, I can't do anything about that. And I suspect Nelson does as well with the way she's firing. Which is why they're not hitting each other. <clears throat> if you're wondering what I mean by that, uh, if you don't watch my regular videos where I've gone through this at length, uh, the, I mean, I've submitted many bug reports about it, but the aiming can get stuck at zero. Um, it affects all ships equally, as far as I can tell. Um, happens at any era. And you can, or you used to be able to get rid of it by retargeting the same ship. 
but uh, you can no longer do that. You can, however, get rid of it by targeting a different ship, but obviously in a one-on-one, -on -one, um, very, uh, very difficult to do that. So far, though, um, Nelson getting the better of it, doing almost twice as much damage with 10 more hits. But uh, it's all very superficial stuff. Alright, Latoria is now fixed. See here, now it says aim. So she's fixed that issue. She might actually be able to hit Nelson now. She does have better accuracy. Significantly, actually. It's whether she can turn that into actual hits or not. That is important. Ooh, open. Doing some rudder damage on the aft. Uh, didn't see whether it was belt or deck, but. The stern of the ship. See, now Nelson has the issue. So it, it is fair. Oh, they both have it. <laughs> um, and I know what what this is supposed to represent is a ship maneuvering or a target maneuvering. So you lose your your aim, and then you have to retarget the ship. But uh, I am convinced that they, it takes them too long to do it, and the, the the UI doesn't give you the right information. If the ship is doing something. Uh, in that, oh my words! Never mind my waffling. Bloody hell! Look at that. Hit the aft deck, but she hit the aft deck very close to the X turret there. Went in somewhere around here, and that caused a lot of damage. Nothing critical, but uh, a lot of structure damage. And obviously a fire. Uh, meanwhile, in return, we're just getting overpins and a little bit of flooding on Nelson. They're still just duking it out. Not much to report on. I'm going to pause the battle here. <laughs> um... And uh, I'll be back when they uh, actually do something. Even hits like that, 700 damage doesn't actually hurt the ship too much. You know, it just knocks their structure out. And as you can see, they're kind of taking lumps out of each other. I will be back in uh, second half, second part of the video to have a look at what happens. See you soon. Right, a little while later, and Latorio has taken a couple of hits. Uh, to her aft belt um, to her stern here um, and it's really flooded out which is affecting her accuracy a fair bit um, in return Nelson is actually looking better off uh, she does have an engine out but still mostly just exchanging blows uh, Latoru has got a fair old lean going. Latoru just not the the AI is just not prepared to <laughs> kind of get into a kind of killing range, um, so it's very luck based. And those sixteens, when they do land a hit, um, they do a hell of a lot of damage. Another 
flooding here. It does seem to be flooding hits that are the real kicker in uh, this division so far. No hits for either ship. Now, of course, Nelson, Nelson's actually running low on ammunition. <clears throat> Which is what happened in the first round as well, so... Have to see when she switches up to HE what happens. If you're wondering why I'm not manually switching, um, it basically gives me an unfair advantage compared to the AI controlled ships um, because the, the AI can't can't do that so I'm leaving it on auto um, for all the fights same with the torpedoes I'm leaving them on just normal just just like the AI would miss Target lock in now. Nelson has fired a torp. Goodness knows where it is. The torpedo probably doesn't have much of a speed advantage now. No. Had a knot in it. There's the torpedo. It's going to harmlessly <laughs> explode short. Okay. It's going to have trouble with her angle. I suppose that Nelson's 14 inch belt has been. Uh, up incredibly well to this punishment. She, she is more heavily armoured than the Torio. Um, real slugfest though. Neither ship getting a Killing blow. It's all been uh, hits outside the main citadel for the most part. Victoria cannot fire currently because she's rolled over too much. Shots out. She's running low on shells too. Again, uh, same thing if they're both down to their HE shells, so I'll, I'll call it a draw. I'm not going to sit and wait for the, all the HE shells to run out. Another big hit. This is exactly that's exactly the type of hit that Nelson has been scoring. Those chunky aft deck bends, kind of hitting just just kind of here, which you know repeated hits. Basically, she's trying to blow the stern off the Latorio.
another flooding hit. It's starting to seep into the engine rooms now. Nasty hit to the secondary tower. That's going to ruin the uh, accuracy. Another flooding hit. AI can't decide whether it wants to turn in or go away. But yeah, Nelson positioned quite nicely. She's able to just... She's able to fire. The Torio isn't, and that's never a good position to be in. And the AI's trying, but so much flooding on the Torio now. And she does have an anti-flood system. Anti-Flood 2, which I think is the same as Nelson. Yep. And a flooding hit to the rear. But she's only got couple more salvos of the AP ammo. Let's get a flooding hit though. Fires a torpedo. Now she's starting to turn. Interesting. gets a solution. Torpedo missed. Oh, that's the same kind of hit that uh, Diddle Torio in the last time. Obviously the stern is completely smashed in, so an HE shell in the arse is <laughs> Gonna hurt. Yeah, I think Latorio's lack of armor has perhaps hindered her somewhat. I mean, it is better quality. Um. Her main belt, I mean, her main belt has stood up, um, to be fair to her. Most of the pens were just like that one, going into her, her stern section. Nelson just proved a little bit tougher. Flooding is out of control, and the Torio sinks. Meaning, in well, I think a little bit of an upset, to be honest. Um, Nelson takes the match two rounds to one, so Nelson gets two points, and the Torio gets none. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Knots. Bye for now.